and welcome to Writing Today. In this episode, I'm going to be doing a book review of The Keylock Man by Louis L'Amour. If you enjoy this review, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to read this book review or check out any of my other work, you can find it all on my website, thependsleuth.com. There's a link in the description below. Without further ado, let's begin. Matt Keelock is pursued by a posse into the wilderness after a supply trip to freedom ends in a shootout. More than anything, Keelock is worried about his new wife, Christina, who has her own pursuer. It's a story of survival, greed and doing the right thing, with a host of characters to underline each value. Here's my spoiler-free review of The Keylock Man. First, a short summary. The Keylock Man is a straightforward story, so I'll make the synopsis shorter. Matt Keylock has recently married a woman named Christina, who fled Europe for reasons you'll soon discover. The two form a bond, but their relationship becomes stressed when a man by the name of Oscar Neeland wants Christina for himself. Matt and Christina hope to shake his pursuit, and for a while it seems like they did. However, they have new problems when Matt Keelock visits the town of Freedom and leaves it after a shootout. Believed to have shot the loser in the back, Matt Keelock is pursued by a ragtag posse so justice can be done. It's a pursuit filled with character growth, tense confrontations, and even talk of lost gold. Now for the characters. There are several characters to talk about, so let's start with Matt Keelock. Keelock is one of the many Americans at the time that lived out in the wilds, surviving off the land. With a colourful history, Matt Keelock has the skills to survive, but he knows he isn't a mortal, approaching each situation with plenty of caution. Christina, as mentioned, fled Europe after a serious incident and was made to survive in America. After encountering many unsavoury individuals, she finds one she feels she can rely on. No stranger to living rough and gunfights, Christina and Matt make an excellent team for their kind of lifestyle. Oscar Neerland is one of those unsavory individuals Christina encounters, and wants to claim Christina for himself. While he stands down when Matt and Christina leave together, he is not one to give up easily. He pursues them soon after with a small posse of his own, becoming the antagonist in the story. Next, we have Bill Chesney the leader of the posse pursuing Keylock for the shooting in Freedom. Johnny, the loser of the shootout, was one of Bill's friends, making Bill stubborn and unrelenting in his pursuit of Matt Keylock. Finally, we have Gay Cooley, a character who seeks the gold that was lost in the nearby wilderness. With that past rearing its ugly head, it seems that he may find the gold, but not before spilling blood to get it. Now for the writing style. Lamour's writing style is straightforward. The plot is made simple by his style, any unnecessary information cut out completely. His books are often very short, which coupled with his writing style makes the book quick and easy to read. Everything from dialogue to fight scenes is meaningful to the plot. It's a writing style that fits the fast-paced story. However, if you're interested in soaking in details and atmosphere, there is very little. When the scene is set, you have a loose idea of what to picture, and your imagination fills in the rest. For that reason, some scenes read almost like a play. Of course, that can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what you are looking for. Now for my personal thoughts on The Keylock Man. The Keylock Man is the first Louis Le Moore book I've read, and I believe the first Western I've read as well. I'm happy to say that it has everything that I want from a Western story. It is gritty without being over-the-top dramatic. It is simple without being boring. If there was anything I would change, I would want the book to be a little longer. Of course, Louis L'Amour was a prolific author, so understandably not every one of his books is an epic. Now to conclude. I enjoyed reading The Keylock Man. It reminded me a lot of the old western radio stories, having a strange calmness to them despite the tenseness of some scenes. If you enjoy a good western novel, you will enjoy The Keylock Man. And with that, this review has come to an end. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't yet already, be sure to subscribe as well. I have content from book reviews, to videos on how to improve one's writing, to short stories. 
All this content you can also find on my website, thependsleuth.com. Thank you for listening, and as always, good day, good night, and happy reading.